what's good guys? We are here at 24 Hour Fitness in Hollywood and I'm here with PJ and Alex from Body Time. They're here from France and uh, we're gonna hit some arms and then do a few interview questions and just talk to you guys for a bit. We never do just arms. Yeah. It's yeah. like chest, uh, shoulders, and triceps. Oh, okay. Yeah, for me, I train like seven days a week, so yeah. I split body you parts. Cannot, you cannot do half body. Yeah, no, no. So I, yeah, I do single muscle groups each day, and then I double up on like legs. So legs okay. will be like Wednesdays and Sundays, or so we get it in twice. Sundays, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, want to sleep on Sunday. <laughs> no, no, no. Sunday's <laughs> legs day, man. You know, and then um, yeah, like. I split up the muscle group, so I'll spend like a whole session on one muscle group. So like Monday will be chest and it will be only chest. Okay. Tuesday will be back, only back, you know, Wednesday legs, Thursday shoulders. Okay. And today, Friday arms. Okay. You know, like that. And Saturday I just mix. Just mix legs and match. you do it two times. Just legs twice a week. Yeah. That's all. That's yeah. chest. Everything else is once, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what is Saturday? Saturday is like a miscellaneous day. So miscellaneous, anything. Okay. Anything. So I am just I'll go in there and I'll train whatever I feel like. What you want. What I want. But yeah, yeah, pretty much. Set where you come down in weight and increase the reps. That's what you're gonna do right now. Is it usually just one set or do you do, do you pyramid me down? Pyramid you me down. You do pyramid it. down at least twice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Once you keep on fades, volume and it like it's kind of shocking sometimes to other people when we train when I train with other people because normally like I've you know, asked PJ and Alex how many sets and they said you know normally like three sets um, which everyone has their own strategy and which which works for everyone you know I, I've got mine mine works for me um, I feel my strategy can work for many but you know we all have our different strategies so yeah my strategy is lots of lots of volume you guys know me man so I'm like eight to ten sets lots of uh, so I pyramid, so I pyramid up, stay up, come back down, which a lot of people won't be used to, but that's just my way. Thank you. Last set. One more? Last one. I'm saying like this, this because like even when I tell people I do one muscle group yeah. a day they're like is that it that's not enough but 
it's the amount of volume and intensity yeah, you on it. Yeah, exactly. And then, exactly. I, and then I get the break yeah. before next week. Yeah. You know, so, you so yeah, yeah. That exactly that, exactly. Yeah. So I understand completely. Yeah. If you're doing it twice a week, then no way. Yeah, sometimes yeah, you have to rest. Three yeah. times. Yeah. When you do have body, you do okay. six times. Yeah. You do three times, especially from your legs. Yeah. You can do AV oh, no way. three yeah, times yeah. a week. Yeah, yeah. You're no, completely. Completely understand. You know? So even even when I do the legs uh, twice a week, it's not the same. Like, I'm splitting quads with hamstrings. Ah, yes, my you know? So even then, I still get the break. You know? But we we saw some video about you. Yeah. Really strong and deadlift yeah. and squats. Yeah, I like the like, like, you. Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel good down there. You know, I feel stronger doing that than yeah, sure. normal squats. Yeah. I feel stronger going as deep because I can just I can drive out of there. Whereas mm -hmm. if I come down to about here, I don't feel like I've got the power to to, to yeah, rise exactly. up. So yeah, for me, I just I, just, I don't know the you know. name in English, but yeah. in French we say the. Reflex, it's a reflex. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. No, 100%, that's right. Yes, yeah, reflex. So yeah. for me, as soon as I'm down there, I have the energy to come back up. But if I don't hit that depth, then I don't feel as strong coming out. Yeah, yeah. But then that's, that's just my strategy. Right. Everyone will do what works for them. Before, I know, like, I've been squatting for years. I've been training 18 years. So I've been squatting for years before doing that. And before that, I, I enjoyed squats, but I never felt comfortable under the bar. Mm -hmm. You know, now I feel fantastic under the bar. No matter what the weight is, I feel I feel good. You know, so it's a, it's a good change that I made there. Yeah. I'm gonna persist with this, even though it's a bit of a struggle for me because. Uh, I'm a bit wide, plus my elbows feel a bit mad on that, but I'm gonna persist a bit, take it easy, but I'm gonna do it. Yeah. You do bodyweight stuff ever? Not really, I mean, I do um, <coughs> chin-ups and yeah. pull-ups, yeah. bodyweight, you know, uh, dips off a bench, yeah. but yeah. other than them, I don't think, yeah, there's any other real <laughs> bodyweight exercises. Uh. <laughs> my elbows hate that. Yeah. Train, yeah, and he can do it because it's skinny and yeah, yeah. <laughs> like push ups. Yeah, yeah. You can't push ups, but it's yeah, the same yeah. for us. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit, but keep going. But, but guys, even though know you don't see me do this exercise, this exercise is brilliant. This is a dope exercise for triceps or the long head of your triceps. So exactly. if you can do it, definitely incorporate that in your, um, your routine. You can see the form there, that's perfect. Me personally, my elbows hate this. Anything over the head, my elbows hate. And it's from back in the day when I used to do heavy dumbbell, tri single, um, single dumbbell tricep extensions. I used to go ridiculously heavy and I kind of killed my elbows back then. Um, they've healed, you know, so I don't really get the pain anymore, but I've avoided exercises overhead. So you'll never see me, you can watch all my videos, you'll, you'll hardly ever see me doing that. You'll never see me doing the rope. You know, I just, I, I, I kind of avoided those. But um, it's definitely a great exercise if your elbows can take it. But I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Which I can do without issue. <laughs> do skull crushers bother you? Yes, oh, they do. I can't do skull crushers really? at all. Yeah. So that's basically like, feels like same, same thing. Same yeah. thing. In fact, guys, that exercise there, diamond push ups was a staple when I first started training, when I trained at home. You know, guys, I've told you many times, I trained at home for like five years. That was a staple. So after doing my normal press-ups, I'll do diamond press-ups for my uh, triceps and dips. And this is an exercise you can do at home, which is so awesome. awesome. Nice. Up, up, up. <laughs> you guys um, do a lot of body weight exercises. To finish, Not yes. To finish, yeah. 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 Like uh, sometimes push up yeah. after chest, yeah. this, yeah. and yeah, just pull up, no weights, just pull up. It's good to, guys, it's good to keep the bodyweight exercises in your routine as much as possible. Even when, you know, you, you feel like you've surpassed them and you start doing like weight training, always try and keep incorporate them because the bigger you get, the more harder, the more hard those exercises become. 
but if you keep um, if you keep them in your routine then they won't be hard you know so I've always incorporated like chin ups so I can always do them regardless of how heavy I weigh etc and, and press ups as well you know but then um, yeah it's, it's good to incorporate them regardless of whether you're just strength training or whatever for flexibility as well Yeah, like yeah. to put the title, to cut, to edit a little yeah, bit. Yeah. But really, at the beginning, we were shit. We didn't know what to do. Well, it's a learning curve, you know. It's a learning yeah. curve, but it's, a new it's good that you did it yourself because yeah. even though you might have someone that's filming for you now, every now and then, if you want to squeeze a video in that you recorded yourself, you know how to edit. Yeah, exactly. So you can, you, and it gives you an eye for when an edit comes to you as well. So yeah. when they send you something, you can go, okay, I like this, but yeah, you, you can add this transition, this. Yeah, yeah, add this, and and you're knowledgeable of it. So yeah. It's true. yeah. Guys, you see the exercise you just saw PJ do? If you're not strong on it, have a pillow there in case you fall flat, in case you fall flat on your face on the last one. <laughs> okay guys, so you saw us use uh, weight training exercises for biceps and triceps, rope extensions, and then we did some bicep curls with the Just Lift Arm Blaster, which was awesome. Concentrates on the bicep. What we're doing right now is some bodyweight exercises. So you saw us do the diamond, diamond push-ups for our triceps, and I'm doing close grip uh, pull-ups for our biceps. I don't think we were more than 45 minutes, 45, 50 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Good arms workout, good pump, hip biceps, triceps, done. Lots of volume, done. Okay, so what a pleasure to, to meet you. You're a really nice guy. Just tell us a little bit more about yourself, your, your life. Firstly, thank you for uh, wanting to train with me. You know, you guys messaged, reached out and said you want to train. I saw what you guys are doing, it's positive, it's good. So I was like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, so it's good to meet you guys. Um, for those who don't know me, my name's Simeon Panda. And um, it's quite hard to sum up everything that I do, but my main focus is just putting out motivation. You know, my main focus is um, encouraging people to train and enjoy it. You know, um, I love training. I've been training for 18 years and I, I love it. I love it. It's done a lot for my life. It's, uh, so it's, it's, it's such a positive force in, in my life, you know, and I, I want other people to be able to experience the positives that I've experienced. So um, that's my main thing, you know, and in doing that, I do it through videos, I do it through social media, you know, um, always pushing the message of just being passionate about something and being consistent with it, you know, and being able to achieve things that you never thought you could, you know. Thanks. Could you tell us about your size, weight, age? Oh, <laughs> okay, let's start with uh, age. I'm 31 years old. Okay. Um, um, Same. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Soon, soon. Not, How old are you? 29. 29. 29. Okay, awesome, man. But yeah, um, I'm six foot one. Uh, I weigh about 105 mm -hmm. kilos, which I think is about 230 pounds. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Size-wise, uh, measurements I really don't know. The, the one that guys always ask is uh, arm size, you know. So I think that's 20 inches, and that's the only uh, waist size they normally ask. 30, sometimes 31, depending on you know body fat. You know, okay, okay. But, yeah. And uh, just where are you from? <laughs> London. Born and raised in London. Uh, lived all over London. North London, South East London, you know. And uh, but now I'm living in LA. I'm loving it. Been here for, for six long, months. Long? Six months now. Yeah. Okay. So all right. yeah, it's been it's amazing. Yeah. So when did you start to lift? What is your favorite part? Okay. To train? I started lifting in 
around 2001. So long time now. You know? yeah. I think I was about 14, 15 years old when I first picked up a dumbbell. Uh, and I've said it many times in like every time I do an interview, I loved training from the first time I picked up a dumbbell. It just felt fantastic for me. It, it, it's like I can I can literally remember the, the, the first time. Like I know it sounds a bit far fetched, but I remember picking up a dumbbell, going for a few pumps on like bicep curls and thinking, this is this is awesome, <laughs> this is me, you know. And uh, yeah, I fell in love with it then. And um, yeah, I've been doing it ever since. Favourite exercise, um, it's difficult, there's a few. Um, it's, 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 it's got to be one of the big lifts, so for me it's going to be between squats and deadlifts. Okay. You know, nothing is as, as taxing as those exercises, you know, and gives you as much satisfaction. You know, um, I think squats would be the, the, the one that when I achieve like a PB on, I'm over the moon. You know, to be able to rise out of, 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 of a, a deep squat on like a weight that you really wanted to, to hit, gives me the best satisfaction. Yeah, because we talk about that, but he always do deep squats. <laughs> like we never yeah. do, Yeah. but always deep squats. And I was saying that that's not necessarily something that I, I then tell everyone to do. It's just something I do because um, yeah, over right. the years, I found that that is where I feel most comfortable squatting. I feel comfortable squatting at that depth. More comfortable than, than hitting like a parallel squat. You know, so that's just something I do particularly. Um, and it might be beneficial for others who who, who struggle with their squat, you know, who, who, who found squatting difficult, found that they are a bit stiff, you know, like me hitting that depth. I think one of you guys said it, it was like, um, it's like a, a reflex. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. so, so. C'est le réflex myotatique. Yeah. So at that, that, that depth, that's where I feel like I've got the most power to drive up. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> so we talked about that also this morning, but like, we know now you train, but can you explain and do you like to, to lift heavy? How many sets do yeah, you um, we Yeah, we're, we're discussing volume, you know, and for me, um, I, I, I always say I, I train with a lot of volume. Yeah. I feel like I get the most benefit that way and that is my addition of intensity. I think every exercise, every session that someone does should have an aspect of intensity. Uh, whether that's a certain a rep range or whether it's the tempo that you lift, for me, it's the amount of volume that is the, the intensity. The fact okay. that you know we I train like eight to ten sets of high volume, you know. So yeah, and, and that strategy's worked for me. It's given me strength and uh, lots of mass. <laughs> and did you compete? Yes, I competed um, back in uh, 2013, 2014. Okay. Consecutively, like four to about four to five shows back to back. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I'd been training like 10 years before I, I did my first competition, okay. you know, and um, I was always encouraged to compete. But for me, it was, a, it was always going to be a personal decision of when I felt like I was ready. And also when I just wanted to do it, not just because, if that makes sense. Like, I, like there's people you see in the gym that have amazing physiques and their, their passion might not be in competing, you yeah. know. So, and, and that, 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 used, that was me at the time, you know, and then when it, Finally hit, and you know, I looked in the mirror one day and thought, you know what? I, no, I went to a show, and okay, after and watching said, the show, to... I was like, I want to be up there, okay. you know. And then I thought, um, yeah, and I trained towards it, and, and I did it, you know, and I enjoyed it at the time. But it's not something I, I plan to pursue. It's not the reason I got into bodybuilding in the first place. Okay. But yeah, I enjoyed it, you know, when I did compete. I don't know. Did you, did you really oh yeah, I won. I won the European Championships. Uh, my first show, actually, I won in, in Rome, and I won the overall as well. I then placed uh, between third and fourth on every other show that I did, like uh, I did, so I competed in Vegas, I competed in Miami, uh, yeah, so, yeah. So, yes, what are your maximum reps? Like, we talk about squat and deadlift, yeah. do you know it? Uh, I, I'm, okay, for deadlift, I think my maximum is 288 or 290 kg. I've been chasing 300 kg. C'est une masse. <laughs> Parce que on en a parlé avec Alex, vraiment, c'est un mec qui pousse très très lourd cette masse. I just say, you lift really really heavy. Like we saw already some video on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. And really, man, <laughs> especially on fucking on strong deep squat. Yeah. No, it's deadlift. funny because my squat, my squat weight has gone down over the years since I started implementing the depth. But it doesn't bother me because I feel 10 times more comfortable hitting the weight as I, as I hit it now than back when I, you know, on YouTube squatting six plates where I was never really comfortable, you know. Now you won't find a spot behind me when I'm doing these heavy weights. It's just me and the bar yeah. and whatever happens, happens, you know. So um, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, like I really, I do enjoy lifting heavy. Now heavy is relative to the individual, you know, relative to the, to yeah, the, yeah. the individual. So for me, when I say heavy, I mean what I find challenging. You know, it might not be heavy for someone else, or it might be heavier than someone else. Doesn't really matter. 
I, when I speak, say heavy, it's relative to what I know I'm capable of, you know. Yeah, sure. But yeah, no, I do enjoy lifting heavy. Yeah. And could you explain your diet and how do you keep your abs all the year? <laughs> <laughs> I've had uh, basically, I've had my. I, I, let's get to the beginning because what I don't want people to 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 think is that. Um, but I want people to understand genetics as well, rather yeah, than sure. just diet. Now, when I first started training, uh, you know, when I was like 14, 15, I had a six pack. Yeah. And I've never not had one since then. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what, and the reason being is, obviously, back then I wasn't training. So how did I have a six pack? That was just me having a fast metabolism and low yeah. body fat, you know. Um, and I actually, actually, when I first started out, used to eat bad and still had that six pack, you know. But then, obviously, uh, as I started training, I learned about nutrition and, um, you know, and I fixed my diet, stopped eating rubbish, and I managed to maintain my six pack and, and obviously increase uh, the, the prominence of it. Um, the way that I managed to do that now is uh, I, I do eat clean like, as much as I can, like 99% nine, of the time I'm eating like, as healthy as I can. I have cheat meals as and when I feel like. That's like my I way. I wanted to know about yeah. cheat meal. How many yeah. a week, how many uh, a month? Uh, it's, it's, there's, no, there's no quota for it. Okay. It's, it's when I feel like I want one. But, Okay. Again, that's not something I, I advise to everyone. It's because I can be disciplined in that area to have as many, to, 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 have, to not have too many. Whereas okay. if someone else were to do it and follow that strategy, they might get lost in it all and just be ended up eating cheap meals every day. But for me, that strategy works as in, I'll just, when I feel like eating a cheap meal, I'll eat a cheap meal. But okay. other, nine times out of 10, I'm eating as healthy as possible. You know, so. You usually so five meals a day? Yeah, yeah. Not too much carbs? Not too much carbs. For me personally, I don't eat too much carbs. Um, I do eat carbs though, I'm not one of these people that say no carbs, no carbs, or mm. carbs is the devil, no, carbs is, <laughs> carbs is fine, it's you know, okay. it's okay, I just eat the, the right carbs, I eat lots of whole grains, whole grain rice, whole grain okay. pasta, you know. Okay, what is your favourite chip? Ah, uh, it's difficult man, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, a, a range of things that I like, I like, um, I like pasta, like Italian food is my favourite, yeah. so a good pasta meal, whether yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a, 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 a carbonara or whether it's lasagna <laughs> or even just spaghetti stop, bolognese. Stop, stop, I, I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, you know, I, I don't know what you said, but I'm sure it's something along the lines of I'm hungry right now, right? You know. So for me, yeah, I, lo I love pasta, uh, cheesecakes, cheesecakes. Oh, oh yes, yeah, oh, you good. I'm like cheesecake like, factory. Yes. yes. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. like, I Best love cheesecake. Invention. Cheesecake oh. is, is is my favorite. So <laughs> if I had to choose one thing, it would be cheesecake. Cheesecake okay. all day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're my <laughs> Now, how do you see you in five years? What, what are your projects? And five years, I hope to be on billboards acting in major films or okay. in, in, in huge TV uh, series, you know. Like, uh, that's, that's where I'm aiming for, you know. And I'm, 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 I'm here in the... Well, right now, yeah, you're, you're here for that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, that's, that's the goal. That's the big goal. Cool. And you take some lessons? Oh, yeah. Acting. I've started my acting lessons. I've uh, started them about a month or two ago. Okay. It's going very well, you know, I'm with a commercial agency, so yeah, well, let's just watch this space, you know, cool. but um, I'm excited. Action yeah. movie? Action movie, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah that would be awesome, <laughs> action movie, man. And what about your YouTube channel? What do you publish on it? Yeah, um, like? my YouTube, I've, I've, I've picked it up um, since I've been out here and been able to, uh, with the cooperation of my good friend and videographer Jake, I've been able to increase my frequency, you know, so as well as recording my own stuff, um, Jake comes out with me and we, we shoot together as, as much as possible and yeah it's been, it's been great you know um, before it was hard to get that frequency without having a, 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 a um, designated videographer that shoots everything you know so it, but now I've got that I'm able to you know capture a lot more content. Okay. And what about yours? Yeah. How do you start? How did you oh start uh, brand wise um, okay so I'm working Just Lift you see Just Lift everywhere yeah, yeah. everything Just yeah, Lift. Yeah, just, <laughs> just Lift for me is more than just um, more than just the brand, it started off as a message to people. When um, I started using social media, I noticed there was a lot of talk of all sorts. Because like when I, I always say this, when I started training, I was trained at home. So for the first like five years, I was at home, had no influences, and there was no Facebook, YouTube, or yeah, Instagram. Yeah. It was just me and my weights. Um, and all I did was just lift, you know? So, and that was, that was all it was about. You know, I never had any influences, never, um, it was just 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 about the weights. Yeah, so for me, lifestyle. yeah. So when I when I when I used to start when I started posting, I would hashtag just lift. So okay. just basically telling people, look, man, like forget all the negative stuff you read. Forget comparing yourself to anyone else. Just lift. Yeah, enjoy it. Stage. Yeah, just enjoy it. So that's how I built that brand. It started off with wristbands. Then I went to I wanted to put out stuff that 
um, I use, you know, training accessories, you know, so today we use the arm blast out, that's yeah, what yeah, I use. Exactly, uh, knee wraps, things things to do with training that I use, I wanted to use my, uh, uh, make it in the way that it would serve me best, you know, so um, I, I started yeah, training cool. accessories and now clothing. Yeah. And do you have some advice for like a young people who start lifting at the gym or weights? Yeah, weight? yeah, um, please, Just lift. <laughs> <laughs> please, please make sure that embrace the foundations and by that I mean like just just start with the basics the basics work and they will continue to work for a, a long period of time when you're a beginner so by that I mean in your first year or two stick with the basics you know your, your bench press your deadlift your squat and do them in the basic way so you don't need to start incorporating all sorts of crazy stuff not that the crazy stuff doesn't work but that comes later you have to start with the foundations and like I said you guys, when you're watching Instagram and YouTube, etc., you're seeing people that have been training for a long time. I'm sure you've been training a long time, you've been training a long time. Oh, yeah. We've been training for years. So when we do new stuff, it's because we've done the old stuff before. Yeah, yes, exactly. You know, we've built the foundations before. So make sure you start with the foundations. Try the stuff that we're doing by all means, but get the foundations right, you know, because they're the stuff that's going to give you the growth and, 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 and uh, the improvements and progression. Okay, so to finish, could you tell us something in French? We, we, we. Perfect. No, uh, can you say, garder la pêche. Can you say, garder la pêche? What does it mean? Gar in, like, uh, keep in, in shape. Uh, stay in shape. Stay in shape. Garder la pêche. Yeah. Perfect. Jackson. Awesome. Jackson. Thank you very much. Oh, that was fantastic. Thank you again.